finally an update on um, autopilot on my local highway and as you already can see in the display maybe um, this um, we now have the, uh, have the opportunity to auto change lane on this road and that is something that autopilot one cars have had for a long time and uh, autopilot two has never done in the year and two months three months that I've had this car um, this is firmware 2018.18.2 uh, I had it for about a week not uh, been driving too much so autopilot seems uh, pretty stable um, the big change is that uh, I'm now able to do auto lane change it's really fantastic uh, the funny thing is that that came suddenly I noticed today I didn't notice it yesterday but today it was possible um, and I had the firmware for a few weeks so this is something that has suddenly been uh, enabled uh, the big speculation from my side of course would be uh, is it because they changed the uh, automatic driving assistance uh, tiles the map tiles or is it because of um, they sent something enabled something in our cars which was there uh, sleeping in what they call uh, <laughs> that would be the real uh, the real uh, what they call it the, the silent mode or the the camera mode or what ah, I don't remember but as you can see going at 10 past now it's a summer speed limit following traffic at uh, around 80 kilometers Pilot uh, also <coughs> shows in the display. It shows a bit more um, sharper bends, I would say. It seems it's displaying in the instrument cluster in the IC uh, more like the road really is. So, uh, but uh, basically, I'm I'm not sure if that is new since 10.4, um, which was my last update, which I got back in March or April or something uh, which I had until recently so but the big change is auto lane change on this uh, divided road which is not a, a real highway but uh, still MP1 cars could do that for a long time and let's see how to do it so not perfect though but Let's see if we can stop for the, the other car in front. Yeah, I did. Well, probably saw it from before. Um, what else is there to say? Well, we have, of course, the auto wiping system. And uh, I would say that uh, I'm not totally pleased. Uh, used it in some rain. Um, hasn't been raining too much, it's a record dry May. Uh, it really doesn't sense light rain and react fast enough to that. And um, it also seems to me that the auto wipers... Uh, I'm not sure if that's something wrong with mine, but they don't go from go up to the full speed so uh, that could have been of course a bug with the 10.4 release as the 10.4 release was um, had some other bugs uh, they ran the, the equalizer and the sounds in the sound system uh, they uh, also disabled the ability to adjust um, the sportiness of the steering wheel you could change it on the screen but it didn't uh, help anything and uh, it also um, 
so that the auto lane wipe auto wipers didn't work as well could of course be related to that but I'm not sure so but as you can see here um, oh, camera at pretty high speeds I feel pretty comfortable now using the autopilot system uh, I definitely would say that you should not trust it you should car says keep your hands on the wheel but the car should say keep your eyes on the road your hands on the wheel and your foot in the right position because I might the car might do something stupid but sometimes it does um, on local roads you really need to keep the speed down to, to let 10.4 and the, this one 18.2 do its best and um, that means that uh, Usually other drivers will go faster and more comfortable and that's a sad thing uh, yet for us to pay for the FSD. But um, as you can see we have no speed limit, speed sign recognition yet either. Uh, passing now uh, the construction zone where speed limit is finally enough reduced but car doesn't recognize that yet so that would be the next big step I think because um, uh, definitely the cars are not uh, the, 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 the maps the ADAS, ADAS maps are not updated and I don't think there is any reasonable chance that the global map uh, will be updated at the level that, um, that the car can really trust it so um, you need some sort of vision recognition and uh, of course there uh, has been some great progress since last year but it has been more than a year since I bought this car and I must say it's we're still not there that uh, I thought I was going to be when I got this car so but the car is still fantastic um, fast pretty comfortable pretty much happy with the car now and especially now that we got the auto lane change